Hi, I'm Seamless, and I keep being surprised when the video starts because I'm not used to it starting so fast. When I hit the record button, usually there's a delay. Anyway, today it's time for a new How to Synth tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to make this sound. I just did that little demo there because I wanted to make sense when I said this actually started out as a how to bass, but uh, I actually liked the um, the higher pad reality of it more than its bass use. So now it's a how to synth. Anyway, either way though, this video is brought to you by Ditto Music, an auto label personal release platform that lets you just for a yearly cost release unlimited music to all the regular major music access platforms. Things like Pandora and iTunes and Amazon and all of those things. If you want to just have your music up there and out, you can go use that place. <laughs> go use that place. That, that's a thing that makes sense to say. Anyway, ditto music. There's a link in the description of this video and also a promo code to get 50% off pricing. Isn't that sweet? If you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to ask me. Anyway, the thing today. This was yet more of messing around with automating the uh, Unison Index stuff from inside Serum. This time, uh, I wanted to get like as much as much um, Super Unison as I could, which isn't even really what's happening right here. Uh, what the Super Unison refers to something that I noticed up here, which was a setting that says, "Where is it? Lim limit polyphony to one of any note number." What that means is that if I like played. <laughs> four of these notes together all at once, it would not actually play four notes, it would just play whatever the last one was. This is important because some of these modulators in here are things that are uh, per voice situation and some of them are just a global thing. The LFOs, for example, I'm pretty sure are just individual global things, but the envelopes and I'm pretty sure also the velocity tracking are things that happen on a per note element, which means that if you can attend like give them to something that can be changed per voice it will be so for example the big range of difference there uh in through like and the just the velocity expression was my plan was going to be to stack a whole bunch of notes together in the piano roll just at different velocities and i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna call it super unison to basically manually make unison like this, which is a trick that a fix I showed me how to do with 3x oscillator a thousand years ago. So uh, that's just, that was that, but I never got that far because I got this far and it was, this, this sounds just fine the way it is. I also already use this kind of a lot of CPU. I'm not even, I'm just using one oscillator, right? So uh, just to go over this whole thing, this is the acid wave table. One of the, the first ones in the entire list, and this 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 pinchiness you can see of it is why I I needed to use it. It's because if I'm gonna do if I'm gonna do big changes to a to the the this business the unison index mapping, excuse me, I need to be able to hear the differences. They can't just be like a different phase of a saw. It's just gonna sound like a saw again. So I needed to be so different that when they are different, the differences are different enough on each other, which isn't as easy an ask as you might think. You might think, sure, just get something more random and it'll be good. But I actually tried that um, with a, with an earlier attempt here. You can see it says B, and it just didn't get through. It just it just sounded like some normal stuff. And I wanted the process to actually come out sounding specific. So what velocity is mapped to, along a bunch of other stuff, Here's me doing it on a phase because it was originally going to be a unison like anchor. Um, I'm also messing around with doing this to uh, the envelopes uh, shape and size themselves. So things like the decay and release time of the attack for the modulation and also the just regular attack. So if I hit real hard, nothing. And you, you actually might notice I actually inverted the velocity mapping. It's because I did a bunch of mapping and then I discovered, oh, I actually wanted to do the opposite. And instead of just going in and inverting stuff, I just moved the core. I moved the map. And then I kept adding new things and then having to re-invert them to be the way they're supposed to be because now it's inverted. Oops. It was just a 
bit of a workflow kerfuffle on my part. So low velocity gets us long attack and long release. Hard velocity is, is such. And that coming down and being more on point is also that the velocity is on the reverb. So there's less reverb when there's more velocity. Remember inverted. And I have this uh, filter also doing as jazz. So this is a comb filter. Now, another important thing about this being different is that and by, and by different, I mean every time I every time I play a note, unless unless I manually make them the same velocity, they are going to be very different from each other. This guy is going to be a different, and this is something I checked. This definitely does track per voice. This is generating a filter per voice. So if if you have a setting that says that it's at a different different place, it'll be it'll track. So if I actually mechanically have like identical. It actually stays pretty exactly like to the same performance every time, and in a tiny minute adjustment alters the whole thing. So now I can just keep doing this. Of course, because that also changes the attack time every time, that's kind of making it sound off time because. Even if the, even though the grid is correct, the size of the note is changing, and it makes the relative size of the grid feel like it's off time. Because some element of it is. Uh, personally, I wouldn't use this for some some regular note like this. I'd be more sweepy about it. That kind of thing. Anyway, the. The real, the, the neat takeaway about this is that Serum actually does a really good job of playing a lot of parameters on individual voices, not just in, like in the unison sort of indexing mapping way, but like on, on a note basis, which is a bit of an old older school thing to sort of care about, like how many, what what's your what's your polyphony limit, right? Like that, but if you can keep having copies of stuff, this means that you can just keep having copies of stuff. And velocity is an interesting parameter to talk about just at all, because I used to just think like, okay, well, I don't really have a keyboard in front of me very often. I do right now, which is a big reason why I care about velocity right now, because I don't have a keyboard in front of me very often. But the moral of that story is that I actually have had velocity in front of me this entire time. Everyone does because all of the piano rolls use it. Velocity is basically the most, like the second most supported direct modulation control a second to just the mod wheel and pitch itself. And that what that's what that means really is that if you come up with some kind of velocity based change to do to a sound, it could be triggered and handled and messed with from any any position or place anywhere. So it's it's a it's a good immediate like primary variety option to use. And I'm mostly speaking to myself when I say this because like I I'm I'm being like you should be using velocity, oh my god, because like I just have not been and now that I have, and I've discovered the um, like this particular setting, which is usually on, and by usually I mean it just it was when I installed it, and uh, turning it off and being like, oh, I can manually make more unison. And isn't that all I ever want? Ha, <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, which as a patch is available to download in the description of this video, uh, please let me know. Um, alongside links to uh, Ditto Music to check out their place if you want to see the, all the services they have alongside of just regular unlimited music uh, releasing, which is just their primary thing. They also have plenty of other stuff like promo and syncing for things and also caring about the primary the primary rights organizations. Yeah, the, the uh, performance rights organizations, ASCAP, BMI, GMA, that kind of thing. Good stuff. I, I think so. But yes. Any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that fun stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.